Always remember that he really likes the little details of human life. He is a hedonist at heart. He loves music and silence and makes people laugh and enjoy simple things. He wants people to do things. What you need to do is hide that truth. Keep making them believe that religion is something bad, gloomy or boring. If possible, convince them that he never wants them to be happy. Make them believe that. He is a God who only opens doors for the sufferers and that he only asks for sacrifice and renunciation. But the truth is that he opens doors we never imagined. And these doors lead to such great joy and pleasure that our dark and gray existence cannot comprehend. And with each open door, he reveals a little more of who he is and who we are meant to be. Excerpt from the book, The Screwtape Letters. Greetings and God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. The Holy Spirit has guided you to this video today because our faithful Heavenly Father longs to prepare you for the incredible blessings that await when he opens doors you never imagined possible. In this season of your lives, you may find yourselves at a crossroads uncertain of which path to take. But take heart, for the Lord is about to surprise you with opportunities that exceed your wildest dreams. Proverbs 3 verses 5, 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. He is orchestrating divine encounters, aligning circumstances, and setting the stage for breakthroughs that will leave you in awe of His goodness and favor. In this video, we will explore 10 miraculous things that happen when God opens doors you never imagined. Through the illumination of scriptures and the testimonies of those who have experienced His supernatural intervention, you will gain a renewed sense of hope and expectation for the incredible plans He has in store for you. Job 19. 25 tells us I know that my Redeemer lives and that in the end He will stand on the earth. Remember that God's thoughts and ways are higher than ours. What may seem impossible to the natural mind is easy for the one who spoke the universe into existence. Therefore, trust in his timing, lean on his wisdom, and surrender your plans to his perfect will. As it says in Isaiah 55, 8, 9, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For when you align your hearts with his, you position yourselves to receive the abundant blessings he has planned for your lives. Please help us share this message of hope and encouragement with others who may be at their own crossroads, uncertain about what the future holds. As taught in 1 Thessalonians 5. 11 therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing by liking, commenting and subscribing to our channel. You allow us to continue spreading the good news of God's faithfulness and empowering believers to step into the extraordinary destinies he has prepared for them. May the Lord bless you abundantly and fill you with the courage and faith to walk through the doors he is opening before you. Remember, his plans for you are plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a future. Therefore, trust in his leadership and be ready to marvel at the incredible things he is about to do in your lives. For Ephesians 3.20, 20, 21 tells us now to him who is able to do immeasurably. More than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Number one, my dear friends, when God is opening doors in your lives, you may encounter unexpected opportunities that you could never have imagined. Lewis tells us that if there is one idea in Christianity that transcends all others, it is that our natural condition is a shadow of the real things that lie beyond. These opportunities can come in various forms, each designed to bring you closer to your divine purpose and the plans God has for your lives. An example is the story of the Apostle Paul. Before his conversion, Paul, then known as Saul, was a fierce persecutor of Christians. He believed he was doing the right thing by eradicating this new faith. However, on the road to Damascus, Jesus appeared to Paul in a blinding light, challenging him to reconsider his actions. This unexpected encounter completely transformed Paul's life. He had the opportunity to become one of the greatest missionaries in history, spreading the gospel widely and writing much of the New Testament. Like Paul, when God is opening doors for you, you may find yourself facing opportunities that seem to come out of nowhere. This could be in the form of a new job that perfectly aligns with your skills and passions, even if it is in a field you never considered before. 
It might be a casual encounter with someone who can provide wisdom, guidance, or connections to help you on your journey. Or it could be a sudden realization of your true calling, a deep sense of purpose that you cannot ignore. These opportunities may challenge you beyond your comfort zone, but they are part of God's plan to grow and refine you. Embrace them with faith, knowing that God is guiding you every step of the way. As it says in Isaiah 43, 19, See, I am doing a new thing, now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Another sign that God is opening doors is the removal of obstacles that once seemed insurmountable. Lewis tells us that this happens. When we stop trying to do things on our own and ask God for help, grace begins to work. Where there were once blockages, you may find clear paths opening up before you. You, This could be the resolution of a long-standing conflict, the provision of resources you didn't have, or the softening of hearts that were once hard. When God moves, nothing can stand in his way. Remember the story of Joshua and the Battle of Jericho. The city of Jericho was a formidable obstacle for the Israelites, with its high walls and well-defended gates. But when God gave the command, the walls crumbled and the city was taken. Similarly, when God is opening doors for you, walls that once seemed impregnable can fall. As you walk through these open doors, you will see your faith strengthen. You will see evidence of God's hand in your lives, guiding and providing in ways you could not have orchestrated on your own. This will give you the courage to keep moving forward, even when the path ahead is uncertain. It's important to note that open doors don't always lead to easy paths. In fact, the journey God has for you may be challenging at times, but each challenge is an opportunity to lean on God's strength and watch Him work in and through you. As James 1, 2, 4 reminds us, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So when unexpected opportunities arise, when obstacles are removed, and when your faith is growing despite the challenges, take heart. Lewis tells us that troubles indeed never end but the way we deal with them changes as we trust in God. These are signs that God is opening doors for you, leading you to the good plans He has for your lives. Trust in His guidance, take steps of faith, and watch in awe as He does far more than you could ask or imagine. Number two, when God is opening doors in your lives that you never imagined, one of the most profound things that happens is the strengthening of your faith. As you witness God's hand in action, guiding you towards opportunities and experiences beyond your wildest dreams, your confidence in his divine plan will grow deeper and unshakable. Lewis tells us that faith is the art of holding on to things your reason has once accepted, in spite of your changing moods. Just as Peter stepped out of the boat and walked on water towards Jesus, you will feel encouraged to take bold steps of faith. When God is the one opening doors, you can trust that he will provide the strength, wisdom and resources necessary to walk through them. As it says in Hebrews 1035-36, so do not throw away your confidence, it will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that, when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. At first the path may seem uncertain or even frightening, but as you fix your eyes on Jesus and trust in his leadership, fear and doubt will begin to dissipate. Lewis tells us that we have no right to ask when a difficulty will end. We can only be sure that it will. With each step, you will feel your faith growing stronger, anchored in the unwavering love and faithfulness of the Heavenly Father. You will begin to see challenges as opportunities for growth and obstacles, as stepping stones to greater heights. As you face the unknown, you will, you will remember the times when God has been faithful in your lives, and this will give you the confidence to move forward. As you continue to walk through the doors that God is opening, your faith will become a beacon of light to those around you. Lewis tells us that God does not want us to be happy. He wants us to be holy and holiness often comes through pain and challenges. Your confidence in God's plan will inspire others to seek him and trust in his guidance for their own lives. Your testimony of God's faithfulness will become a source of encouragement and hope for those who are struggling. For as it says in Matthew 5, 14. 15. You are the light of the world, a town built on a hill, cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. 
Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. Remember, God is not limited by our understanding or human expectations. His ways are higher than ours and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. When he opens doors that we never imagined, it is an invitation to trust him more deeply and experience the abundant life he has in store for us. Therefore, take heart, dear friend. As you witness God's hand opening doors in your life, let your faith grow stronger with each passing day. Trust in his perfect plan, even when you cannot see the whole picture. Lewis tells us that to trust God means to trust that he knows what is best for us, even when we do not understand his ways. Take bold steps of faith, knowing that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. As you walk through the doors he opens, you will discover a life of purpose, joy and fulfillment beyond anything you could have imagined. Your strength and faith will be a testimony to his goodness and a light that guides others to the hope found only in Christ. Lewis tells us that, if I find in myself desires which nothing in this world can satisfy, the only logical explanation is that I was made for another world. Number three, when God is opening doors in your lives that you never imagined possible, one of the amazing things you will experience is divine provision. Lewis tells us that God, who is always feeding the universe, rarely provides the food in a way that we can see. Just as God miraculously provided for the Israelites during their years of wandering in the desert, he will do as it says in Philippians 4, 19, and my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. This will be evident as you walk through the doors he is opening for you. In the book of Exodus, we read the incredible account of how God sustained his people with manna from heaven. Every morning, the Israelites would wake up to find the ground covered with this mysterious bread-like substance. It tasted sweet like honey and provided the perfect nutrition to sustain them on their long journey. God faithfully gave them exactly what they needed, exactly when they needed it. In the same way, as you follow God's lead and walk through the doors he is opening, you can trust that he will provide for you every step of the way. It may not always look like what you expect. God's provision is often surprising and creative, but you can have confidence that your heavenly father knows exactly what you need to thrive and fulfill the purposes he has for you. This divine provision goes beyond merely meeting your physical needs. God will provide the wisdom, strength, courage, and resources necessary to navigate the new opportunities and challenges that come with entering unknown territories. As it says in James 1, 5, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. He will place the right people in your path to support and encourage you. He will give you favor in open ways, even when it seems there is no way. Lewis tells us that friendship is unnecessary, like philosophy, like art. It has no survival value. Rather, it is one of those things which give value to survival. Remember, God is not limited by earthly constraints or scarce resources. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills and his storehouses of blessings are never empty. As it says in Exodus 1.9.5.6, the whole earth is mine and you will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Therefore, do not fear lack or insufficiency as you follow him to new places. Lewis tells us that he gives us what he has, not what we have. He gives us his love, peace, joy, happiness, and there is no end to it. Trust that the God who took care of more than 600 000 Israelites in a barren desert for 40 years is more than capable of meeting all your needs. As you experience God opening doors and providing for you in supernatural ways, let your hearts overflow with gratitude and praise. Use the talents, resources, and opportunities he gives you to honor him and be a blessing to others. Testify of his goodness and let your lives be a living demonstration of his love and faithfulness. Dear friend, be encouraged today. Lewis tells us that men are afraid to trust God with a happiness that transcends their experiences. When you surrender your lives to God and follow his leadership, you can expect divine provision every step of the way. Walk confidently through the doors he is opening, knowing that your heavenly Father will supply all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Number four, my brothers and sisters, when God is opening doors in your lives that you never imagined, one of the most profound changes you will experience is a change in your perspective. As you witness God's hand in action, 
guiding you towards new opportunities and possibilities, your outlook on life will begin to transform in beautiful ways. As it says in 17, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. You will begin to see challenges not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and development. Every trial or difficulty you face will become a chance to lean on God's strength. Trust in his wisdom and watch as he molds you into the person he created you to be. Lewis tells us that God does not love us because we are good, but God will make us good because he loves us. The Apostle Paul, who faced countless trials and tribulations throughout his ministry, understood this truth deeply. Despite being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and persecuted, Paul declared with unwavering faith, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. When God opens doors, he invites you into a place of greater trust and dependence on him. You will begin to recognize that your own strength and abilities are limited. But God's power is infinite. As you surrender your plans and desires to him, you will discover a new peace that surpasses all understanding. You will worry less about the future, knowing that God holds it securely in his hands. As it says in Philippians 4, 13, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Furthermore, as your perspective changes, you will begin to see the world around you through the lens of God's love and grace. You will see people not as obstacles or competitors, but as beloved children of God, each precious in his sight. Lewis tells us that to be a Christian means to forgive the inexcusable because God has forgiven the inexcusable in you. Your hearts will grow in compassion and empathy as you seek to extend the same mercy and kindness that God has so freely poured out upon you. Lewis also tells us that you do not lose what you give, you only lose what you keep. As God opens new doors, you will also begin to dream bigger dreams and envision greater possibilities for your lives. You will realize that the limitations you once imposed on yourselves were mere illusions and that with God all things are truly possible. Lewis tells us that, do not let your happiness depend on something you may lose. You will find yourselves taking steps of faith, taking risks and embracing new adventures with a sense of excitement and anticipation. Lewis also tells us that we are at the turning point in history. We must do all things temporal with a view of the eternal. Through all of this, you will discover a deeper intimacy with God as you learn to trust him more fully and seek his will above all else. As it says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 1, 6, 18, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. You will experience the joy of walking in obedience and the peace that comes from knowing you are exactly where he wants you to be. Therefore, as God begins to open doors in your lives that you never imagined, embrace the change in your perspective. Allow him to transform your minds and hearts as you learn to see the world and your place in it through his eyes. Trust in his goodness, lean on his strength, and watch in awe as he unfolds a future far beyond anything you could have dreamed or imagined. Lewis tells us that look for yourself and you will find in the long run you will only hatred, loneliness, despair, rage, ruin, and decay. But look for Christ and you will find him, and with him everything else thrown in. For with God, the impossible becomes possible and the ordinary becomes extraordinary. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1, 6. Number five, my dear friends, when God opens doors in your lives that you never imagined possible, it is a transformative experience that can lead to a profound discovery of your true identity in Christ. 1 John 3. One says, see what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. As you walk through these divinely appointed doors, you will embark on a journey of self-discovery, realizing that your worth and significance are not defined by your earthly achievements or failures, but by your precious status as beloved children of the Most High God. Just as Moses encountered the burning bush in the desert and discovered his true calling as the deliverer of God's people, you too will discover your unique God-given purpose as you faithfully walk through the doors he opens for you. Lewis tells us that what you do echoes in eternity. This realization is not just about finding your niche in life. 
for it is about understanding the essence of who you are in Christ. You will begin to comprehend that your identity is rooted in the unshakable love and acceptance of your heavenly Father, who created you fearfully and wonderfully in his image. Lewis also says, I now see that I am a little fellow, but a little fellow with the will of God. No matter what challenges or obstacles you face, this truth will anchor your soul and give you the confidence to move forward in faith. As you embrace your true identity, you will find yourself shedding the false labels and limitations that the world tries to impose on you. As Romans 12, 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing and perfect will. You will no longer be bound by the opinions or expectations of others, for you will know deeply in your heart that you are a masterpiece created by God himself for a specific and glorious purpose. This new sense of identity will also bring profound freedom and peace as you realize that your past mistakes and failures do not define you. In Christ you are a new creation washed by his precious blood and clothed in his righteousness. Lewis tells us that prayer doesn't change God, it changes me. Now you can enter each new day with the assurance that you are forgiven, redeemed and deeply loved. This is confirmed into Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. Moreover, as you walk through the doors God opens, you will discover that your identity is closely tied to your belonging in the family of God. You are not alone on this journey. You are part of a beautiful and diverse community of believers who share the same identity in Christ. Together you can encourage, support, and motivate one another to practice love and good works. Therefore, take heart, dear friend, and embrace the exciting adventure that awaits you as God opens doors you never imagined. Allow him to lead you to a deeper understanding of your true identity in Christ, and watch as he unfolds his perfect plan for your life. Remember you are his beloved child called by name and destined for greatness in his kingdom. Walk through these doors with faith, courage, and the unwavering knowledge that your identity is secure in him, as it says in Romans 8, 37. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Number six, when God is opening doors in your lives that you could never have imagined, one of the most remarkable things you will experience is a supernatural peace that transcends all understanding. Even amidst uncertainty, when the path ahead seems unclear and the future is shrouded in mystery, you will find yourselves enveloped by an unshakable sense of tranquility that comes solely from God's presence. This peace is not something that can be manufactured by human effort or positive thinking. It is a divine gift freely given to those who trust in the Lord and surrender their lives to his will. As the Apostle Paul wrote in Philippians 4, 7, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When you are walking through a door that God has opened, you can be certain that he will provide the peace you need. Take each step with confidence and faith. We see a beautiful example of this in the life of the prophet Elijah. After a period of intense spiritual warfare and personal turmoil, Elijah found himself alone in the desert, exhausted and discouraged, but it was there in that place of vulnerability and weakness that he encountered God's presence in a profound way. As recounted in 1 Kings 19, God spoke to Elijah not in the wind, the earthquake or the fire, but in a gentle whisper. In that moment of divine encounter, Elijah found the peace and strength he needed to continue on the path that God had set before him. In the same way, when God is opening new doors in your lives, you may find yourselves in unfamiliar or even uncomfortable territories. Isaiah 4.3.2 says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. You may be called to take steps of faith, to take risks, and to trust God in ways you never have before. But in the midst of it all, you can experience a supernatural peace that comes from knowing that God is with you every step of the way. This peace is not a temporary feeling or a fleeting emotion. It is a deep and abiding sense of security that comes from being rooted and grounded in the love of Christ. 
As you walk through the doors that God is opening, you can have confidence that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Therefore, if you find yourself in a season of transition where God is opening doors you never could have imagined, take heart. Embrace the peace that comes from knowing that the Lord is directing your steps and guiding your path. Trust that he has a plan and a purpose for your life and that he will provide everything you need to fulfill the calling he has placed in your heart. As you take steps of faith and walk through the doors that God is opening, may you experience the fullness of his peace, the depth of his love and the abundance of his grace. May you find rest and strength in his presence, knowing that he is always with you, always for you and always leading you to the good plans he has for your life. And may you have the courage to say yes to everything God has in store, knowing that, that he will never leave you, nor forsake you, and that he will guide you every step of the way. As it says in Joshua 1.9, Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Number 7. When God is opening doors in your lives that you could never have imagined, one of the most amazing things that happens is that you start attracting divine connections. These are the people God strategically places in your path to support, encourage, and help you fulfill the purpose He has for your lives. As 1824, there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Just as we see in the story of Ruth and Boaz in the Bible, when you are walking in obedience to God and following the path He has laid out for you, He will bring the right people alongside you to help you on your journey. Ruth was a young widow who left her homeland to follow her mother-in-law. Naomi back to Israel. She had no idea what the future held, but she trusted God's plan for her life. While gleaning in the fields to provide for herself and Naomi, she caught the attention of Boaz, a wealthy and influential man who showed her favor and kindness. Similarly, when you are walking in faith and obedience to God, he will bring people into your lives who will show you favor and kindness. Proverbs 16.9 tells us in their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. These divine connections can come in the form of mentors who will guide and counsel you, friends who will encourage and support you, or collaborators who will work alongside you to achieve a common goal. These connections are not random or coincidental. They are divinely orchestrated by a loving God who knows exactly what you need to succeed in the plans he has for you. He will bring people into your lives who have the skills, resources, and influence to help you overcome obstacles and achieve your God-given dreams. But it is important to remember that these divine connections are not just for your own benefit. God wants to use you to be a blessing to others as well. Just as Boaz was a blessing to Ruth and Naomi, you have the opportunity to be a blessing to the people God brings into your lives. As it says in 1 Peter 4, 10. Thren. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. In this way, you can offer encouragement, support and guidance to those who are struggling or in need. As you continue to walk in faith and obedience to God, be open to the divine connections he wants to bring into your lives. Do not be afraid to reach out and connect with others who share your values and vision. Surround yourselves with people who will challenge you to grow in your faith and seek God's purpose for your lives. Remember that when God is opening doors for you, he will provide everything you need to walk through those doors, including the right people to support and encourage you along the way. Trust in his divine timing and provision and watch as he brings incredible connections and opportunities into your lives that you could never have imagined on your own. Number eight, my brothers and sisters, when God is opening doors in your lives that you never imagined possible, you can expect to witness miraculous breakthroughs beyond what you could have dreamed or envisioned. Just as the walls of Jericho fell before the Israelites, as they trusted in God's power and followed his commands, you too will see seemingly impossible barriers crumble as you walk in faith and obedience. Imagine facing a daunting obstacle, a situation that seems hopeless from every angle, a challenge that appears insurmountable by any human means. It might be a long-awaited healing, a desperately needed financial provision, a broken relationship that needs restoration, or a God-sized dream. He is placed in your hearts. From your limited perspective, it seems like there is no way forward. The odds are against you, and doubt whispers that it will never happen. 
But when the Almighty God is at work, opening doors in your favor, be prepared to witness the unimaginable unfold before your very eyes. Strongholds that have held you back for years will suddenly lose their power. Chains that have kept you bound will fall away in an instant. Paths that were completely blocked will unexpectedly open up as if they had never been there. For nothing will be impossible with God, Luke 1. 37. Just as the people of Israel watched in awe as the massive fortified walls of Jericho collapsed into rubble after they followed God's instructions, you will be amazed as he makes a way where there seemed to be no way. Obstacles that once seemed enormous will be reduced to nothing in the light of his power. Doors that have been firmly closed and locked for as long as you can remember will swing wide open at his touch. I know that you can do all things. No purpose of yours can be thwarted. Job 42. 2. See, when God opens a door, no man can close it. What he has planned and destined for your lives will come to pass. No matter how desperate or confusing your current circumstances may seem, his plans will not be thwarted and his promises will not return void. He is the God of the impossible, the one who specializes in doing immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine. Therefore, take heart, beloved. If you find yourselves facing towering walls of opposition and impossibility, if you have been praying and believing for a breakthrough without success, do not lose hope. Your father is working behind the scenes, orchestrating every detail and aligning every piece of the puzzle. He is capable of doing exceedingly abundantly above all that we can conceive. As you keep your eyes fixed on him and your trust firmly rooted in his love, be prepared to see those intimidating walls reduced to a heap of stones. Be ready to walk through doors of opportunity, destiny and blessing that only he could have opened. And as you enter this new territory, give him all the glory, knowing that it is only his power that has brought you to this place. Number nine. When God opens doors in your lives that you never imagined possible, it is a testament to his incredible plan and purpose for you. As you faithfully follow his lead and walk through these new doors, you will find that your influence expands in remarkable ways. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah just as Esther in the Bible found herself in a position of great influence to save her people, you too will discover that God has strategically placed you to be a light in your sphere of influence, whether in the workplace, the community, the church, or the family. God will give you opportunities to impact lives and make a difference in ways you never thought possible. As you walk through these God-ordained doors, people will notice. They will see something different in you, a peace, a joy, a wisdom that can only come from above. Your words will carry weight and your actions will speak volumes. People will be drawn to the light of Christ shining through you and will want to know the source of your strength and hope. God will grant you favor with those in positions of authority and influence. He will open doors for you to speak the truth, bring healing and be a catalyst for positive change. You may find yourselves invited to speak at events, lead projects or mentor others who are hungry for guidance and direction. As it says in Genesis 39 2, the Lord was with Joseph so that he prospered and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. Your influence will spread far beyond what you can see or imagine. The seeds of faith, hope and love that you plant in the lives of others will take root and grow, producing a harvest of righteousness that will impact generations to come. But expanding your influence is not about personal gain or glory. It is about being a faithful steward of the gifts and opportunities God has given you. It is about pointing people to Jesus and giving him all the praise and honor. As you walk through these new doors, remember that God is with you every step of the way. He will provide the wisdom, courage and strength you need to navigate each new challenge and opportunity. Trust in his leadership and watch in awe as he uses you to fulfill his purposes in ways you never dreamed possible. And remember, from everyone who has been given, much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. Luke 12, 48 billion. Therefore embrace the doors that God is opening before you. Walk through them with confidence, knowing that your influence is expanding for his glory. You are agents of change, difference makers, a light in the darkness. Continue to shine brightly for Jesus and watch as he shines for you. 
as he uses you to transform lives and impact eternity. Number 10, my friends. One of the most profound experiences you will have is a deep sense of joy in the journey. This joy transcends the challenges and obstacles that may arise in your path because you know that God is guiding each step you take. As you walk through these new doors, you will find that the process itself becomes a source of delight. You will find yourselves embracing the highs and lows, the twists and turns, knowing that each one is part of God's perfect plan for your lives. You will begin to see that every challenge is an opportunity for growth and every setback is a chance to lean more fully on God's grace. In the midst of this journey, you will experience a joy that comes from being in God's presence. As the psalm is so beautifully expressed in Psalm 1611, you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. When you are walking with God, you will discover that his presence fills you with a joy that nothing else can compare to. It is a joy that wells up from within a joy that cannot be shaken by the circumstances around you. This joy is rooted in the certainty that God is shaping you and preparing you for even greater things. Every step of the journey is part of his divine plan, a plan that is always for your good. And for his glory, as you trust in him, you will find that he is molding you into the person he created you to be, equipping you with the skills, wisdom, and strength needed to fulfill his purposes. Therefore, embrace the journey. Dear friends, embrace the challenges, the growth, and the transformation that come as you walk through the doors that God is opening for you. Let his joy be your strength and his presence be your guide. Keep your eyes fixed on him and trust that he is leading you to a future beyond your wildest dreams. Remember, God is the author of your story, and he is writing a beautiful story of redemption and purpose. Every chapter, every page is a testimony of his faithfulness and love. Therefore, do not be afraid to take steps of faith, to walk through those doors with confidence and expectation. God is with you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. May you be filled with the joy of the Lord. May his presence be your constant companion, and may his love be your unshakable foundation. And always remember that with God the best is yet to come. He is opening doors you never imagined and guiding you to a life of incredible purpose and fulfillment. So trust in him, Follow his lead and watch in awe as he does infinitely more than you could ask or imagine. Let's enter into prayer so that this message may be engraved in our souls and invite God to hear our supplications, for we need doors to be opened if it is his will. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and hope, trusting in your infinite wisdom and boundless love. I praise you for being a God of miracles, a God who can make a way where there seems to be no way. Your word tells us that you are able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to your power that is at work within us. Today I am filled with anticipation, knowing that you are opening doors in my life that I could never have dreamed possible. You see the deepest desires of my heart, the dreams I have held close for so long, and the aspirations I have yet to conceive. In your perfect timing, and in your perfect way, you are aligning circumstances, people, and opportunities to bring forth your purpose in my life. As I stand on the threshold of these new doors, I am reminded of your faithfulness in the past. Time and again, you have guided me, provided for me, and brought me through challenges that seemed insurmountable. You have been my strength when I was weak, my comfort when I was discouraged, and my light in the darkest times. And now, as I face the unknown, I am confident that you will continue to be with me every step of the way. Give me the courage to walk through these new doors with boldness and faith, even when the path ahead is uncertain. Help me to trust in your leadership, even when it leads me in a direction I did not expect. Grant me the wisdom to discern your voice and the obedience to follow where you lead. May I embrace the new opportunities and challenges. I pray that as I enter these new spaces, I may be a light for you, reflecting your love, your truth, and your hope to those around me. May my life be a testimony of your goodness and faithfulness, inspiring others to seek you and trust in your plan for their lives. Thank you, Father, for the amazing ways you are working in my life, for the doors you are opening, and for the incredible journey that lies ahead. I commit my future into your hands. Knowing that your plans for me are good, and that you will use me for your glory, 
In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. In the end, what truly matters are not the moments in our lives when we feel pleasure, happiness, or even pain, but the moments when we experience God's presence and are transformed by it. God has a purpose for each of us, and sometimes that purpose is revealed in the most unlikely circumstances. We may find ourselves in situations we never would have imagined, facing challenges that seem beyond our strength, but it is in these moments that God's presence becomes most evident and His grace most abundant. Think of how Aslan, the great lion, a figure of Christ in the Chronicles of Narnia, always appears at the exact right moment, never too early, never too late. He is there, orchestrating events, opening doors, and preparing the way for those who trust in Him. In the same way, God is present in our lives, guiding our steps, even when we cannot see the full picture. Our task is to trust in His leadership and follow His instructions, even when the path ahead seems uncertain. And when we look back, we will see how each step, each open door, each challenge faced was perfectly aligned with His purpose for our lives. As Lewis wrote, God whispers to us in our pleasures, speaks in our conscience, but shouts in our pains. It is His megaphone to rouse a deaf world. These moments of difficulty and trial are often the times when we hear God's voice most clearly and clearly, and feel His presence most intensely. Therefore, as you walk through these doors that God is opening, stand firm in your faith, confident that He is in control and that His promises are true. He never leaves us nor forsakes us, and He is always working for our good and for His glory. And remember Lewis' words, do not let your happiness depend on something you may lose. Our true joy and security are in God, who is unchanging and eternal. He is our rock and our fortress, and in Him we find everything we need to live the life He has planned for us. Thank you for watching until the end. See you in the next video.